Okay, so there's a lot of misconceptions out there surrounding the Broncos' restructure of Joe Flacco's contract. And with it sure looking like Drew Locke is going to give the franchise that oh-so-valuable cost-controlled quarterback, it's time to clear up the confusion. I'm Ryan Konigsberg, and this is DNVR Explains. So, when the Broncos traded for him, Joe Flacco was owed a base salary of $18.5 million this year, with absolutely no guarantees. Just before the season, Denver converted $17 million of that into signing bonus, spread out over five years at $3.4 million a year, including this year. That put Flacco's 2019 cap hit at $4.9 million, clearing $13.6 million of cap space for this year, while pushing that $13.6 million out across the next four. To clarify, the Broncos did not add any guaranteed money to the contract. They simply spread out the money that he was already going to be guaranteed the moment he set foot on the field this year. And here's the most important part. While the restructure did add $13.6 million of dead money, the $13.6 million that they cleared up before the season carries over into next year, canceling out the dead money. Remember, dead money is just a dark sounding term for money that is being paid to a player that isn't on the team. The moral of the story here is that the Broncos can very easily move on from Flacco after the season. And while they are still guaranteeing him that $3.4 million signing bonus, the move would clear up a grand total of $10.5 million in cap space next season. Broncos, you know what to do.